Hey, Olivia, what are we going to draw today? A fall tree. Yeah, a tree. With a fall tree? What does that mean? Because it's like fall. Yeah. And then all of the leaves come down off the tree. Yeah, they fall off the tree. Yeah. That's why it's called fall? Yeah. <laughs> and we have our crayons to draw with. And what colors do we have? Yellow. Yellow. Brown. Brown. Orange. And red. Red. We also have? Paper. Paper to draw on. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first use our brown crayon. That's for the color of the trunk. And yeah. let's draw a shape first. We're going to draw a rectangle shape for the bottom of our tree. So let's draw the letter L. I'm going to draw it down, a long line down, and a short line for the bottom. I'm going to start here and draw it down to there. Long line and a short line for the bottom. And what letter is that again? L. L, yeah. Let's draw an upside down L to finish our rectangle. Well, yeah, you can make the line darker. There you go. Ooh, that looks cool. Even more like a tree. Now we're going to draw the upside down L. We're going to draw a short line over and then a long line down. And what shape is that again? A rectangle. A rectangle. Let's color in our rectangle. Now we are going to fast forward this part. So remember to pause the video and take time to color in your tree. Or rectangle. Yeah. Now we're using Mr. Sketch scented gel crayons. They smell really good. And sometimes they do. And but sometimes they're sometimes they have shavings on them. So we use a paper towel to get the shavings off. You can just rub it like that. And I have an extra one just for you. Yay! What's at the bottom of the tree? Roots. Roots. Yeah, let's draw a little spike that comes out and then back in. There you go. And another spike on the other side. And we could even draw another one right in the middle. And let's color in those little roots. These are just the roots that stick out of the ground. Yeah. What's at the top of a tree? Branches. Yeah, we have the roots at the bottom and branches at the top. Yeah. Let's draw a branch that comes out. Oh, we could draw it wiggly like that. Yeah. I'm going to draw one coming out to the side. And then up at the top, we can start here, come back down, and let's make it a little thicker. Is that cool? And we make it thicker down here at the bottom. I like this. Yeah. Oh, that looks really cool too. Bumpy. Let's draw another branch. And this one can be a different wiggle. It can wiggle even more or less. <laughs> there you go. And then let's draw another line coming down. And it can get bigger. And you can make your branches look any way you want. And you can also add a lot more branches. I'm going to add one here and maybe another one coming up here. And I think we should fast forward again and add even more branches. Now our, our friends at home, you guys can pause the video and take time to draw lots of branches. Oh look, I even drew a branch just like you coming off of this one. You can draw more branches. Or like color this in. Yeah, color it in so it's solid. Okay, let's fast forward and you can add even more. Yeah. We did it! We finished drawing our tree. Well, it kind of just looks like a winter tree. Yeah. Yeah, we're missing the fall leaves. Yeah. Let's start with our orange crayon and we'll draw a curve that comes out from the tree to the side. This is for the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then let's draw another orange line on the left side. Oh, that looks awesome. Now this next part we get to draw leaves and this is really fun. We're going to fill our paper up here but with little circles, little spots. This is for our orange leaves and we can mix them up, spread them all over our tree. Like one going up and one going down? Yes. And you know what? I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. That's okay, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is to have fun and practice. And practice. It's okay if their drawings look different too, right? Yeah. Because I'm sure their drawings look awesome too. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. This part we should fast forward again. We're going to add a lot of leaves all over our paper. We did it, Olivia. We finished coloring our orange leaves. And we even added leaves falling from the tree and landed down here on the ground. Yeah. What color should we use next? Yellow. Yellow? Okay. Let's do the same thing that we did with the orange crayon, except this time we're making 
yellow leaves. Mm -hmm. And we can mix these up all over too. So add them all over your paper. It's and starting to look really cool. Yeah, in different spots. Yeah, in different spots. And this part, we're gonna fast forward again, so pause the video and take time to add lots of leaves to your fall tree. It looks so pretty with all the yellow leaves. Now we have one color left. Red. Red. Let's switch to our red crown and do the same step, except add our red leaves. Oh, it looks so cool, all filled in. Let's fast forward one more time and color in all of our red leaves. We did it, Olivia, give me five. We finished drawing and coloring our fall tree and it looks super cool, except let's add a few more things. Let's add a little oval right here in the middle of our tree. What lives inside our tree? A squirrel, or oh, lots of squirrels, maybe a family of squirrels, and they're getting ready for winter. Yeah. Ooh, we could even add a little bird, a maybe it's a crow. I'm gonna put it right here with a little head and a tail. <laughs> you get to add another little animal. The same thing. We could even add a little beak. I don't know if it'll show up because it's kind of small, but that's okay. Oh, I'm gonna add little legs that stick down and land on the tree. There we go. It turned out so perfect. We could draw a little beak on the end of your bird. Maybe you could draw squirrels. Maybe they could be getting acorns for the winter. Yeah. You could also draw more trees. And people. Oh yeah, you could add lots of people. If we have fun drawing a fall tree. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.